it's nice outside right now but it is going to be hot today so we do need to water <laughs> only downside to this hose is look it's like in this in ground I'm always looking for snakes that leaks and so it fills up with water so, see Ooh, not good I've never had a hose fitting that lasted longer than one season so I'm just not using them anymore just the thumb we have rain method we have the far reaching method hose method just like having one of those things, except for my thumb hopefully won't be broken at the end of the year. Ah, let's see what I mean. Oh goodness. I actually worked at a big box store for just like a very brief period of time. I had just come off of a very stressful job and it was just what I needed. It was like therapy. Like I went in in the morning and for an hour all I did was water flowers, <laughs> which was amazing. And then the rest of the day was basically just like manual labor, moving and rearranging flowers and the smell. I was just in such a good mood because the sm I smelled flowers all day long and it, it really puts you in a good mood. At least it puts me in a good mood. It was amazing. Of course, then I had to go get another stressful job that actually paid money, so. Okay, let's get our one thing out of the way right now. My husband actually put those jars in the trash. And took them out of the trash. He just doesn't understand about jars. Keep up on getting the sweet potato slips and keep putting them out there. I was actually thinking maybe the next year, if I'm actually on top of my game and, and have these rooted quickly, I could actually sell some just down at the driveway to probably nobody. I feel like I can't imagine you'd make very much money selling sweet potato slips though. Like not unless you're doing it like on a really big scale, which I am not. I think that's good for now. I'm actually gonna put it in the shed. Now that the shed's all nice and kind of clean, we're gonna put it in here by the window. These are all my jars of that I still haven't planted yet from marjoram. These are those little, I call them moss roses. I don't know if that's really what they're called. They're like these little tiny, like almost succulent type plants that have these little flowers. They're really cute. I'd like to plant some of those. Black eyed Susan, oregano. Don't need to plant any of that. So like a little bit of sunflower seeds. These are my favorite. And when I just do that, it says short WF. I guess that means wildflower, short wildflower. I'm gonna guess and say that it's probably Coreopsis. Morning glories, we don't need those. More hyacinth runner beans. I know there's more inside that we need to plant. Like I wanna do some petunias. I didn't used to like petunias, but they smell so good <laughs> that I like them just for the scent. So petunias and four o'clock. I need to find my four o'clock seed. Here's some more baby rosemary. This stuff grows so slow. We're gonna tackle the radish, the radish seed pile. Uh oh because I didn't get to them fast enough. They're like kind of dried out. I'm not going to want to eat these and I don't want to replant them because I didn't like these radishes. <laughs> no offense, but yeah, it's too late. Too late. Oh, this happens. Like it's like if you're not on top of it, you're not on top of it. It's what a bummer because they actually did taste really good. But yeah, they are completely dried out. I don't think we're going to find any in here worth eating. What a bummer. At least I weeded. Let's look at the positive side. At least I pulled them out and so my other plants could grow. Let's try one of the bok choy ones. What do you think their seed pods taste like? Okay, I'm gonna eat that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I should have been like, oh, they're good. Here, you try one. You wanna try one anyway? Oh my gosh. Yeah, super gross, right? Like they're gross. That is not a good taste. Oh, it's still in my mouth. Ugh. 
oh, it's like cabbage coffee bad. I found my beets. Remember planting these beets? Look how sad they are. They're like, we haven't seen the sun in years. Oh, uh, sorry beets. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Planted some elephant garlic. Look at the scapes coming off of these things. Okay, regardless of, what we, of whether or not we let them go to seed, we are gonna let the flowers flower because I wanna see what they look like. Alliums have beautiful flowers, so. It's so interesting how these grew. They're all short in the front and then super tall in the back. Everybody needs to get the sun. I didn't know what these were until you pointed it out. These are ground cherries. I think I actually tried eating one before and I did not like the taste, but I think I didn't wait for them to ripen <laughs> enough, but they are everywhere. They've always been everywhere in this garden. They just come up everywhere. Okay, so I've wanted to talk about this for days. I struggled with how to talk about it. But I'm just gonna talk because. So I actually just ended jury duty. It was a six month deal <laughs> and we heard a lot of different cases. And at the time when I was picked, I thought, well, there must be a reason why I was picked for this. I don't know what that reason is. At the very least, it'll be a chance to get out of the house. It was really, it affected me greatly, honestly, because I, almost all the cases were substance abuse cases. At this point in time, if you don't know somebody who has, has had or does have a substance abuse problem, you're probably in the minority. Most people are not bad people. They're just very, they're just struggling and having a very hard time. And it was hard to listen to these cases, honestly because I just felt bad <laughs> and I tried to like divorce myself from the whole situation but it, it just shows there's a lot of hurting currently there's a lot of people who are hurting a lot of people who are struggling there were also some not many but some really true truly heinous uh cases that were sprinkled in and those those were terrible but the majority of them were people who who were obviously having a hard time and I would go to these and then I'd come home and I'd bring it home with me and just be in a terrible mood, <laughs> be in a bad mood and really short with everybody. It was just an emotional toll. I could not imagine being a first responder. I would not make a good first responder. This comes on the heels of a number of deaths recently and they were also different. So there's some people who were very well loved and they just got sick and had so many people outpouring of love and support and all this. You know, it, it was just sad that they died well, be well before they should have. Then we had some people who were also well loved. They were struggling and it was just too much and they ended up taking their own lives. And those are very hard <laughs> to take and to try to process. And then we had also a death of someone who we weren't in constant touch with at all, but like knew from before and this person died. I'm not even sure how, but wasn't even found in their own home for like weeks. And I think, oh my gosh, like what kind of a life is that where you die and nobody even notices for weeks? And that's a different kind of sadness. And it's just all these different, just different ways people live their life and then different ways people viewed their life and how it all just kind of, I don't know, I'm still processing a lot of it. So I am not quite sure, but what I wanna say is, is that a lot of people are struggling. And I would be like, if you're struggling, reach out. But like when you're struggling, you don't wanna reach out. You're struggling. You're not gonna reach out. It's not, that's not gonna happen. If, I mean, if you can go for it, but like in general, that's not gonna happen. So if you see someone struggling, if you know they're struggling, maybe don't wait reach out and then also if people aren't struggling I feel like we just need more community more people around and I know that's not going to solve everything I know that doesn't solve everything I'm not naive I'm not thinking like oh if we all just come together everything will be great but I just feel like there's a lot of pain and I think that things could get harder and we're going to need each other more I just wanted to share that I don't know I'm sure you have stories like that in your own life so anyways, I came back from that and I was tired and I hadn't eaten anything all day, which is always a mistake. And then I saw I was tired and cranky and hungry, bad combination. 
and I just wanted someone else to make me food who was not me and I wanted it on something that could be thrown out because I did not want to wash any dishes and I looked online and I was like what about like pizza I looked at Papa John's and realized they had raised all their prices and I was like oh my gosh the world knows this is really bad <laughs> luckily my husband fixed me up with some food and and I actually went to bed really early I was very tired and and that greatly helped so treat yourself like like you would a small child if you find yourself being cranky and yelling at everybody and stuff like that you're probably tired or hungry you know so take care of that and of course we find ourselves at the bees also thanks for your comments and support for getting horses it's still cold outside right now so i still feel like it's a good idea but we're gonna check back in at about four o'clock today and see what I think about having horses then because then it's going to be like 96 degrees but life is short don't wait for tomorrow there might not be one I was supposed to be uplifting came out pretty morbid also I would like to ride a horse to the grocery store blackberries not quite ripe yet but they're getting there I see a ripe one all the way in the middle oh there's more over there why are they in the middle all right time to wash out the coffee cabbage taste Oh, that's good. Wow, those are good. So much better than cabbage. So that's it. Thank you so much for listening to me because honestly, it helps. I don't know. It's just, I just feel like there's been a lot lately. <laughs> there's been a lot lately and it's hard to process all of it. Let's go eat these blackberries and drink the rest of our coffee and not eat any of those cabbage seeds because bleh. And then that's all I got. I don't know, what are your plans today? You going in the pool? Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you later.